Taking a look at next week, let's look into the market. So the Fed meeting is what everyone has their eye on in Wall Street. And who knows what will happen if uh, they next move in terms of how that will impact the crypto markets. Glenn, what do you think will happen? So I'm going to go way out on a limb and say that there's going to be a 25 uh, basis point increase. Um, if you look at the CME Fed Watch tool, currently markets are assigning a 99.9% uh, probability that that's uh, what occurs. And so I fully expect there to be a 25 basis point hike. Um, they've been relatively uh, straightforward in relation to kind of signaling what the uh, what the rate hike is going to be in, in, in prior rate hikes. So I don't expect that we're going to see any surprises. I think what people or markets will pay most attention to is any type of commentary by the Chairman Powell. It indicates that he has concerns with the robustness of the job market. Um, and currently, you know, I'm, I'm fully expecting us to have a you know, interest rate to um, move towards 5% by the second quarter. Um, and that's essentially just what the markets um, are, are kind of telling us. Uh, so 25 basis point hike um, next week by the Fed. All right. And that's potentially why we're seeing a spike in the crypto markets as well as stock futures. Uh, it seems that they're easing up and people are just cautiously seeing if uh, risk on is on the table. Meanwhile, there's a call from comment from the Office of Science and Technology Policy. Christy, you have your eye on that. What is that all about? So this was actually sort of a little bit buried in the statement that we talked about earlier that came from the White House on Friday. And what I I'm curious about this is, okay, so we have a 35 day comment period that ends on March 3rd. And it really is asking the cryptocurrency community for suggestions and comments and answers really on an, a comprehensive R&D, research and development approach that would provide concrete areas of focus towards achieving a holistic vision of a digital, digital assets ecosystem that embodies democratic values and other key priorities. So what it's asking for here are R&D suggestions that would attack, say, the socio-technical aspects of, of technical innovations that would include underrepresented and marginalized groups so that they can access and use digital digital assets in a secure, privacy-preserving, inclusive, and equitable manner. I, I think it's interesting that they really are focusing on that sort of um, positive side. So where the statement that we talked about earlier was very much a stick in the carrot and stick um, imagery, this is a little more carrot-ish. This is what can the crypto industry do to help these socio-technical aspects. It also goes into how can it... Um, uh, even though digital assets can consume a lot of energy, their underlying technology may support easier integration and coordination of clean energy resources, which is something the mining community has been saying for a long time when it comes to proof of work blockchains like Bitcoin. And they're really looking at how can the uh, R&D approach, how can the Office of Science and Technology Policy work with the crypto community to come up with some answers that are actually beneficial to society as a whole. So hopefully we'll get some really good uh, policy groups weighing in on this and individuals. Uh, there is a link on their website um, that is attached also to the, uh, the White House statement that came out Friday. So I'm looking forward to seeing what kinds of statements come from the crypto community for this call to action. All right, folks. Crypto community, you've heard it. If you want some comment, if you want your input in there, go out to the Office of Science and Technology Policy and make your word count.